Today is the 3rd of February, year of our Lord, 2023. Depending on what calendar you want to look at or trust, <laughs> two different things, right? Today we're going to talk about observation and trust just a little bit. The calendar of who we are, what we are, when we are, where we are, and what we are capable of is all a lie. This is what I truly start all of my research with. I can't tell you I believe it 100% of the time. I actually believe none of what I hear and half of what I see. I need to triangulate. Well, I'm going to help you triangulate today that this is the vision. That this is the vision of us, okay? <coughs> this is what the machine wants us to do. The machine wants us to become part of the machine. The machine, okay? We have a sponsor that's not part of the machine. They're part of the anti-machine. And this is uh, us living in the machine and maybe getting grounded. <laughs> Five. So this what the thing that, that Stephanie is on here, she's outside. I'll narrate a little bit. She's outside and she's got, you know, her computer front of her. She's got work out here. Stephanie. So at her desk, she has these pieces of fabric. This is part of the desk station product. There's one under her arms. There is one at her feet. There's one at her back. And these are also backed with tourmaline, which helps EMF protection. So if you want to get protected at your desk, this is your product. We have a meeting in five minutes. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Stephanie, you should have turned the monitor on for the commercial with the anti-aging bed logo up there. That would have been a better move. The anti-aging bed office station. Stay grounded. Find out more at antiagingbed.com. Okay, there we go. That's our commercial. Thank you very much. We appreciate our sponsor. Please support them. They're in the Chiron. Okay, so this is where they want us to head to... <laughs> Oh, they want us to put this in our heads. Oh, interfacing with your brain, engineering with the brain, understanding the brain. <laughs> you want to put that thing in your head? <laughs> this is the future. This is what Joe bought XYZ. This is J O E B O T uh, dot X Y E. It's, it's all, I'll throw it in the, in the chat. And this guy is on it. He's in Bannon all the time. And uh, and he, if you really want to know, go to his Substack. This is JoeBotSubstack.com. This should be in the notes, which I'm pretty sure I put out to locals. Okay, so, sorry, it's a commercial. <coughs> <coughs> this is what they want to do with us. Okay, let's, let's talk about what they're doing right now. This is available right now today. Right now today, you can get this. Well, many have started paying for things with our phones, even watches. One company, though, wants to take that technology to another level by implanting a chip in your hand. <laughs> so, the overseas company WalletMore is selling the microchip in parts of Europe. It's about the size of a grain of rice, goes under the skin, it's Ouch. then activated using a digital wallet app. The chip is going for about $300, mm. and the company says at least 200 people have gotten them implanted already. Who I would have people? many questions for a doctor <laughs> about right. that. Yeah, how, how healthy it didn't look is very that micro, you? did it? No. <laughs> it was pretty big. I mean, it was a pretty big chip. I mean, you know a paper cut hurts. You're going to yes. put a thing like that? <laughs> You know, in what happens if you have to change banks? You got to like, right. you, you got to change it, it out. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't interested in it. Keep it away from me. I just want to know how it affects your body. Yeah, I can't. yeah, these are all really good questions. Is this the actual news? Oh, this is in Florida. That's why. Del Air is a Florida heating company, and this is the Kissimmee weather. This is in Florida. Ron DeSantis runs this place. Let's see that. These are really good questions to ask. 200 people have done it. It costs 300 bucks. They're in 6,000 in, no, 60,000 in, in revenue. They've spent millions of dollars doing this. I'm telling you. Already. Who I would have people? many questions for a doctor about right. that. Yeah. How, how healthy it didn't look is very that micro, did it? 
Look at this guy over here on the left. I I'm in with this guy. I, I what the heck? I'm not doing it. It was pretty big. I mean, it's a pretty big chip. I mean, you know, a paper cut hurts. You're gonna yes. put a thing like that. Oh, oh, the guy over on the right here is a big pussy because the paper cut hurts. Screw the paper cut. I got your paper cut for you. Sort of the spirit's the word of God. Okay, let's talk about this integration with robots because we've been talking about Chat GPS. If you're watching shows, we did the Chat GPS thing. I think I I put some Chat GPS in this later. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get to see what Chat GPS looks like. But this is from the World's Fair. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know, a hundred years ago. 1939. We're gonna see a we're gonna see a showcase of Electro the Robot. This is in 1939, okay? And it's gonna act a little bit like Chat GPT, just a little. Gee, Grandma, the more you see of New York, the bigger it gets. It's the same as Main Street, back home. Only larger and busier. Well, maybe we can get what I need here. I wonder if they've got any new gags. <laughs> So I'm going to point a couple of things out here because I'm me and Brandy's not here to keep me in check. So, so this is the 1939 World's Fair in New York. And between 1901, 1909, maybe 1902, 1907, right through there, it was illegal to own a radio in the United States of America. I keep looking for citations on this. It's very well scrubbed. I found it. I've lost it. I found it. I've lost it. I'll get back to it eventually. But it's a public address system. Hey, look, they're already looking for the uh, seven days of darkness. And um, it's a shortwave radio specialist. You could not buy a shortwave radio because you know what a shortwave radio does? It takes low frequency DC level power and makes it a new alternating current, which is a shorter set. You got your free energy through the radio in your house, as well as your information in the Targaryen technology stack. And as it's at the 30s now, as a generation later, one generation, you can erase anything partially. So now we got specialists out there. They're only going to get you the right one, the one that doesn't really bring you everything. Well, maybe we can get what I need here. Oh, maybe I can get what I really need here because the old radios, you know what the old radios were? They were... Magic. The old radios were magic. This is programming, okay? This is programming. <laughs> I hold, if someone makes a note, Sassy, send me a, a thing. Uh, talk to me about uh, anyway. Th this is this is huge programming news. I'm telling you. Over here, shortwave radio specialist. This is the 39 World's Fair. Everyone's going to watch this. This was a preview in the movie. It was like a. Now you see an ad for the car guy up the street at the theater. If you've ever been there in your life, if you're a kid, you've just seen it on your iPad. But look, short radio radio specialist, you couldn't have a radio. That was how you got your free power. The very next image I see is going to have a big magic word. And they're going to use the word gimmick in between the two. Listen. Well, maybe we can get what I need here. Fun shop, magic tricks, and jokes. I wonder if they've got any new gags. <laughs> a gag? A gag like the fact that that last radio is half of what it should be because free power's gone? And so, ladies and gentlemen, with a great deal of pride and pleasure, I present to you Electro, the West. Okay, now this is in 1939. 1939. This was going to be rolled out to be a home robot. This is not a, a this is a movie, yes. It was made by a propagandist, yes. But this is an accounting for the rest of the nation to program them about what happened because they couldn't get to New York in 1939. To your research, 1939 is not a great year in many ways. Tinghouse Motoman. 
Electro? The only good thing about 1939 is you can buy a drink, depending on what time of year it is, because Prohibition has been lifted. Oh, wait. I got better than Prohibition. I got the metal man for you. Look at these articulated fingers. This guy's got a microphone in his hand. This is 1939, almost 100 years ago, closer than not. Come here. Okay, I got a Tesla car that can do this. I got a Roomba that can do this. What else can I tell come here and you're out? Oh, no, those are the mules. They do that because we feed them. Sorry, studio audience I was speaking to. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, walking up to greet you under his own power. Oh, no way, no way. They're making this too easy. So this is in 1939, and I'm supposed to have this really cool piece of technology now in 2023, which is a Tesla car self parking technology plus find me plus Tesla. Okay, that's the right way to search anything, by the way. Okay, look at this. <gasps> okay, the, no, right, over, right over here, we see this thing go like this. Watch. Come here. Oh, come here. That's almost 100 years ago with a robot that walks to you. This is 2019. It starts to rain. Of course, it would be nice if someone pulled your car up for you. That does sound nice. Now, there's some technology that allows the car to do oh, just no, no, that. No, 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 you, you dumb, stupid witch. I, I'm so it's worse than Brandy's not here. I saw the, so look, I, this, 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 at least they don't give me a dumb witch. They give me a guy. Brand new technology, 1939, baby, come at me. Oh, no. Electro? Alexa, come here. Bring me groceries. Keep me locked up in my house. Wait. Great deal of pride and pleasure. I have a I great deal of pride and pleasure to bring you brand new technology from the MSM. At itself, Brandon Simmons shows us how it works. Oh, no, she didn't say it, did she? If someone pulled your car up for you. That does sound oh, like, nice. Like a robot? Like a big golden robot? Or it's just in the car now? Now there's some technology now that allows there's some technology. Uh, bullshit. The shit of the bull. The finely mown bullshit. I have it. 1939. Watch this. I'm going to summon my robot. Present to you, Electro, the Westinghouse Moto Man. Electro, come here. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, walking up to greet you under his own power. Be right, let's give you right, let's give it because because right over here, this is brand new technology, baby. The car to do just that itself. Brandon Simmons shows us how it works. I think anyone that drives one for a day, they would have trouble going back. Bill Painter has been a proud Tesla owner since the beginning of the year, and he'll tell you he's obsessed with his ride. It's better than any other car out there, oh, and he's it's good. To be Oh, well, obvious, brand new, uh, brand new tech. They've never done this before. <laughs> if YouTube gets to put in a commercial, then I have to say, hey, would you please call any aging bed and just ask him how to get your own robot? Tell him Gandalf says they sell robots. <laughs> Stop so I can get in and then I got to open a door or do something. Is that the environment? The all electric Tesla brand is known for its autopilot feature that lets you sit back while the car drives itself down the road, keeping with the flow of traffic and changing lanes, too. But they recently added a new feature called Smart Summit, taking things to another, <laughs> oh, another level. Smart Summit. I, I got your Smart Summit right here. I got a Smart Summit. Watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, walking up to greet you under his own power. Oh, under his own power? That's never happened before. Oh, say you don't want to walk all the way to your car, and it'll come to you. Oh, no, all you do is open the you. app, and the car will plot a path toward you, making corrections for people and traffic along the way. It only moves when your finger's on the screen it of your smartphone. It only moves when your finger's on the screen. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to quit pounding that nail. Even though the Tesla looks a lot like a big nail, easy to pound. 
Look at these transfixed people. Is that a brand new Tesla car? Dude, you bought a Tesla? Oh, no, no, no. No, better, better. I got a robot 90 years ago. Stop. You see, all I need to do is to speak into this phone, and Electro does exactly what I tell him to do, sometimes. Did, did he just say phone? I just have to speak into my phone? That's our app. That's our Tesla app. I'm not going to go back and find it, but he says phone. But I don't... You see, all I need to do is to speak into this phone, and Electro does exactly what I tell him to do, sometimes. But I don't see why I'm telling Electro's story when he's perfectly able to tell his own. So let's listen and see what Electro has to say to oh, us. Oh, let's see what Electro has to say. Well, they have this brand new technology called Chat GPT. Once again, not brand new. Let's look at this. Oh, brand new, brand new, brand new today. Brand new today. Uh uh. <laughs> Bullshit. Looking for a little extra help to get things done? Chat GPT oh, no, no, no. by OpenAI. I'm looking for help to get things done. I don't need help to get things done. I have an Electro. Or would you go, Electro? Where are you, Electro? Here you go. I don't need help getting things done. I have Electro. Today. You see, all I need to do is to speak into this phone, and Electro does exactly what I tell him to do. Oh, no, no, no. That's Sometimes. Brand That's brand new. No, wait. This is brand new. This is brand new. Is here to save the day. In this video... I'll show you how to use this amazing tool and give you seven examples of its capabilities. You won't believe your eyes when you see what it can do. Get ready to be amazed. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. I bet you I will. Look at these people right here. Look at, oh, they are right here. Wait for grandma. Wait for grandma. Grandma is, go back to my, my second look, third camera, please. There she is. Look at grandma. Oh, my God. Look, look at her. You know what she is? She is shocked the same way. <gasps> look at that. <gasps> oh, look. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. It's the same. Brand new. Did you know that ChatGPT can help you create a personalized workout plan that's totally tailored to you? Any questions along the way? Like number seven. This is such a great re chat GPT for meal planning. And GPT is also a lifesaver when pools customized. Just tell us for an exam or get ready for a big project. Chat. No more stressful, but this tool okay, can make let, it. Let's see how far the 80 year old robot gets. We're yet planning. We're doing homework. I'll chat. GPT does all these things. What does the robot do for us? Boy, what a guard that guy make on my football team. Now, Electro, a moment ago, you were bragging about uh, being able to count on your fingers. Do you remember that? Well, we're going to find out about that. Now, uh, do you remember how many children were born at the same time to a certain family up in Canada? Do you remember that? All right, let's see if you do. Count them on your right hand. One, two, three, four, five. Five? Well, that's absolutely correct. <laughs> He's almost human. He wasn't so big, I take him for... She said it. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to come back to this or not. It's just too depressing. They make this too easy. Oh, let's go to the most current version of your good robot. Here, here. No, this is the way right here. So over here, I've got, oh, the amazed feely. Look at the robot. Wait. For an engineer. Five. Five? Well, that's absolutely correct. Well, he's almost human. Oh, I'll show you something almost human, biatch. Okay, time out. Stop the bike. Time out. Come on, stop the bike. <laughs> now, don't take this the wrong way. But you are Terminator, right? Yes. Sabaton Systems Model 101. No. 
Holy shit. You're really real. I'm not exactly sure how this happened. <coughs> <coughs> but somehow his subtitles made it to Spanish. And, and, and my translation, I actually know that all the script from this. I'm not going to fix it. But this is a, a scene where young John Connor in the current version of the robot that's supposed to take over us, because this is the 1959 version. Hey, I'm not worried. Yeah, man, that's a cool robot. You know, that robot is so cool, it is. I will, that's absolutely correct. Well, he's almost human. He's almost human. Well, the Terminator series, the, that we get to the rise of the machines, for those of you who are younger, but... This is the first time, I think this is the third movie, actually. Uh, the third time, uh, or the first time that John Connor gets to meet his savior robot. The savior robot. I have a savior robot over here. Right here, this savior robot. It takes this guy to run in. I have to have a, you got to have a priest between you and the altar of technology. Uh-uh, not over here, man. This kid hacked this as a future him. And let's listen to the current version one of them that we are supposed to believe about our integration with robots because our real integration with robots is Joe Bot, this guy right here who's such a stud. He has got all of these articles about this is where they want us. Oh, no, no, but this is the don't, – don't you dare confuse your opinion with the current narrative. Okay, time out. Stop the bike. Time out, come on, stop the bike. <laughs> now, don't take this the wrong way, but you are a terminator, right? Yes, Sabadan Systems Model 101. underneath right but sort of alive outside i'm a cybernetic organism living tissue over metal endoskeleton get a grip john okay um you're not here to kill me. I figured that part out for myself. So what's the deal? My mission is to protect you. Yeah? Who sent you? You did. 35 years from now, you reprogrammed me to be your protector here. In this time. Oh, this is deep. Here's another way to train your AI. This is for another generation. How do I how do I train the thing I found? Oh, this isn't a, this we've been training kids into video games. So here's a here's a much kinder version of a, a really powerful thing that's not me that I can control. Look, look, everybody wants to fly. All the good dreams are the ones where you're flying. Okay there, bud. We're gonna take this nice and slow. Here we go. Here we go. Position three, no four. Yes, 
sorry. That's my fault. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Position four. Uh, three. <laughs> give the kids these days a, a different level of tyranny <laughs> you know at least back over here you got to do this kind of thing right yeah yeah my my in, in uh when when an earlier version of kids were growing up <laughs> at least your guy like bit bullets this guy right here puts you in this oh i'm falling oh my God. <laughs> No, no, no. This this is the way you're supposed to get your, your programming done. It's chat GPT. It a whole lot easier. No matter if you're just planning a low-key birthday party or a fancy schmancy wedding, chat GPT can give you a personalized event or party planning guide to help you stay organized and on top of things. All right, guys, the last thing chat GPT can help with oh, is creating a personalized a reunion. No way. No way. Here. Here's the kind of self-care I want from my bot right here. I want to be able to train him. Watch this. This is the way you train your AI right here. The AI in my analogy is driving, and he's an indestructible robot that was sent here from the future to protect you from everything that could ever hurt you. <laughs> That's not a scare event. Keep it under 65. We don't want to be pulled over. Affirmative. No, 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 no. So no. that's the human talking, the adult human talking to the to the to the robot. The robot just made a stupid move, and the human says, "Keep it under sixty-five. We don't want to be pulled over." Oh, no, that's not what happens though. The robot keeps learning. He keeps learning. He learns how to do a thing that he thinks is quote unquote cool. Oh, what's how does a robot learn to be cool? Like this. Affirmative. No, 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 no. You gotta listen to the way people talk. You don't. Oh, say you haven't seen TikTok. My face is half covered like Morrissey in 1978. I'm obviously cool. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't, don't listen to this. Five. We don't want to be pulled over. Affirmative. So Chat GPT says. Affirmative. Chat GPT told me affirmative my self care routine. Chat GPT told me affirmative my event planning. Chat GPT told me it was okay for all my shit in my life. Chat told me, oh, I can travel. I can do, oh, wait, my computer's going to tell me how to eat. Oh, thank God. I can eat more processed food. Where's my, where's my Uber roll in? Because I'm going to start off working out and then I'm going to splurge. I'm so glad you're here, Brandy. I've been railing for 38 minutes or whatever. So <laughs> this is the fear we're currently supposed to get. Oh, oh, at the end, I pull it out. This is the way that a previous generation was programmed. My guy's bulletproof. Oh, this is intense. The, the moment of red pill has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Are you kidding me? It's true. Voter fraud is real. Carrie Lake is right. Get a grip, John. Okay. Alex Jones is still crazy, by the way. <laughs> um, you're not here to kill me. I figured that part out for myself. Oh, I can't be here to kill you unless I'm fucking Bill Gates. Okay, so ChatGPT is going to tell me everything. Let's look at the right way. This is the right way 
oh no, this is the way the AI learns. It listens to this. Keep it under 65. We don't want to be pulled over. Affirmative. I don't. I won't put you at risk, ma'am. I agree. Let's leave the kids home with the computer. What did the computer learn from the kids? Not the kids, the computer. What does the computer learn from the kids? Affirmative. No, 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 no. You gotta listen to the way people talk. You don't say affirmative or some shit like that. You say no problemo. And if someone comes off to you with an attitude, you say eat me. And if you want to shine them on, it's hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah, or later, dickwad. And if someone gets upset, you say chill out. Or you could do combination. Chill out, dickwad. That's great. See, you're getting it. No problemo. Judgment day. Judgment day. Judgment day is coming. Oh, Here's Neo after a round of Judgment Day. This is the fourth movie. You know, I think The Matrix is more of a documentary than anything else. You know this about me. So, well, let's look at this. It'll take a couple of minutes. I, well, it'll take more than a couple of minutes because I'm going to rail throughout it. <laughs> this is the door of waking your ass up. I thought I was awake, and then I met this chick. Who's actually part? Oh, that's your AI. You know, all, you know the AI that runs all your cells in your body. The third voice lesson. I did a video on this. Brandy. Yes, I do. Okay. Thank you. That's all I was looking for. Hey, I've been running wild without you for. I, I have no idea what kind of feedback we're getting on the first thirty-two minutes of this show. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf has to wait for producer lady. Is probably the big feel. Okay, look. This is your AI. This is you. Look, you're like, holy, what? Wait, wait. Uh. The Antarctic is really the way out, and the Earth is a donut hole. Holy shit! Where are we? Tokyo. A moving portal. We're living in uh, 2023 in the United States, and um, within days, this war is going to be over. <laughs> What makes it harder to track us. Seek is the best of them. Portal's clean. Reading our shadows. I don't remember this. We don't have to run to phone booths anymore either. It was only right. There's a whole waking up process, okay? I'm not going to keep chasing this piece of fear porn. I, I can roll back through these through these about a hundred times and really get lost and laugh and do a bunch of crap. And people are going to accuse me of making fun of the movie. And that's what I'm doing. Why do you think I use so many movie clips, okay? Hey, Brandy, how often do I do something that's, that's random but not useful? Almost Ever. never. Well, pretty much almost never. Yeah. <laughs> I don't bat a thousand, but I'm somewhere in the high eights. Okay, so <clears throat> we we played the thousand question game uh, for one time for 12 hours straight. And how many times did I say I don't know? Uh, maybe once. Once. But I don't think it was a I don't know. I it think was it not was not an I don't know. It was a reference to an Egyptian set of gods that I didn't want to get lost in a rabbit hole of. I exactly. specifically remember the question. You're right. The ways of the wizard are not known by many. Okay. So let's go back through here. Brandy, since I know you weren't here and, and you have to like write some thumb, write some stuff and do thumbnails and actually I, I I'm sorry I started without you. I apologize. I'm a i I'm a cad to use a, a you were that board, huh? <laughs> I can uh, recalcitrant, um, dis disabuied from moral character. Just say it in 16th century English. So, um, the, uh, we did a <coughs> we did some. This was the graphic. That's not a bad thumbnail. <coughs> it's about Joe Bot X Y Z, and and I'll give you the commercial because you missed the commercial. So I'll do it again. <laughs> We 
We have a meeting in five minutes. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. The anti-aging bed office station. Stay grounded. Find out more at antiagingbed.com. Not a bad commercial. Uh, can I make a comment? You can say anything you want. I want one of those. That's awesome. The studio audience agrees, and I know. Hey, uh, there's a guy in our company. He starts like with a Tim, our sponsor's side. Help! Okay, so uh, we went through technology for the brain then. This is Elon Musk's product. Hey, hey Brandy, have you gotten your, your where do I sign up to get one of those things yet? I have not. Yeah, because you're, you're not an idiot. Okay, so <coughs> and then we talked about hand implants. I'm sure you've seen this before. Rice goes under the skin. It's Ouch. then activated using a digital wallet. Oh, you're going to get one of those tomorrow, right? Uh, probably not. Okay, I'm, we're going to do this again just for you. And, and I know you're going to say, <laughs> where'd you get that? And we have to do a video about it. And we do, but this is 1939 New York World's Fair. I found this this afternoon. I'm so excited. Mm. Watch this. Hey, my mom was born. You tell my story. I am a smart fellow. Oh, I'm a smart fellow. <coughs> That's the chat beat GPT in 1939. Here's chat GPT in uh, 1984. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but you are a Oh, you are a chat GPT, right? You're not a human? Oh, well, th this is how to interface with your very hard-to-believe thing in uh, 2010. Technology saves me. You know how I feel about that? Here's chat GPT and all the things it will do. Got your workout plan. Got your... Uh, Got your meal plan. Uh, got your... Uh, oh, oh. Just in case you didn't want to work out or work. or Oh, wait, you're going to travel? Got, I, oh, I got that covered. So, uh, well, if you're going to plan about all the things you were going to do that I already covered, then... Oh, wait, I got that covered too. <laughs> In <coughs> relationships... My, my my spiritual man won't even let that make make my eyes see it. Uh, and then event planning. So the event planning around the relationships, the things we're going to do that might involve your diet and your work schedule. Well, while I, I pretty much have everything covered. And then just in case nothing else was there, I, I got your self care routine. I do. I got you. Notice there's seven of them. Funny how that happens, isn't it? But but, but notice just, how there's one missing. Christ? Well, that's the most important one. But the one I was thinking of is where you're going to get the money to do all of that. I don't need money. I got my I got my own AI in real form. He's a robot. And I'm going to teach him how to be cool. I'm going to teach him how to be cool. Watch this. You don't say affirmative or some shit like that. You say, no problemo. And if someone comes off to you with an attitude, you say, eat me. And if you want to shine them on, it's hasta la vista. Baby. You know, they caught me from a different universe in the right life with the right look. Because, I, you know, I, those are all my own terms. I don't, I don't <laughs> give a shit. I don't care. And if you want to yell at me, you're, they're going to run into you first. <laughs> <laughs> here, here is the second waking up of Neo, okay? <clears throat> this is how far I got before you caught up. <clears throat> I apologize for starting without you. I've missed you and I appreciate you. And if I haven't told everyone, you know, Brandy makes me better at this. And if I didn't screw something up at this point, it's only because Brandy told me what to do before I, she got here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the support of my studio audience, of course. So it's a crowd, man. They're hard to manage. we got to have ushers and parking people. and Well, you got to be able to move a mule. But anyway, so there were, this is the second waking of Neo. Here it's happening right now. <laughs> it's clean. We do no shadows. I don't remember this. We don't have to run the phone booths anymore either. Don't 
doors on your right. <laughs> so, this little pause right here, this little this this look right here. Do you know what this is? Um, not exactly. That's the look of your cousin that's finally realized they have to tell you, I'm sorry, man, you were right. <laughs> they're gonna, I love they're gonna, that come up, they're gonna come up to you and say, you know that Gandalf guy that uh, you know you actually do everything that he does and he takes credit for. You know that guy. Um, <laughs> and then he says, "There's a uh, he says that you know there's no nukes or it's a flat Earth or airplanes actually using any gravity or Tesla used to be here. Oh, Tesla was here. Oh, and he was part of Tartaria. And you know, Chilaga was called one of these things. One of these seven million things, right? This is when the, your cousin realizes, shit. I gotta tell her she was right. <laughs> we'll show you how right so, I am. So I'm gonna ask you uh, on the spot, being you just said that, make everyone who watches us faithfully think about this. Will you ever believe that there's really an airplane in the air again? You know, the best way to get me from one place to another <laughs> is to put me in a plane where a friend of mine is at the helm. And I know <laughs> the people that maintain it. And it's rated for something I can at least land if someone dies. And I, oh, wait, I would rather find a driver and a car and meander my way and get there when I get there because how often is the wizard late? Never. The wizard's time is the wizard's time and the wizard ways are not known by many. But I do often pay for everything when I get there. <laughs> Maybe that's why everybody waits. <laughs> or comes to see me. Oh, oh wait, you gotta find me. Oh, you have to get through Brandy. <laughs> that's true. You do. This look right here. I'm waiting for another 30% of America to get this. That's what I'm waiting for. And that's what I'm working towards. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I love this scene. Set and setting, right? Oh, no. It's all about set. Now, this is the new machine interface. This is a digital twin of Morpheus. We saw Morpheus, Neo's true friend, but he's been replaced by a digital twin. That's a very important point here because I'm about to get a time mark in 11 minutes from Brandy that says slow down and find a place to stop. <laughs> Thank you, honey, for being here. You're amazing. You are so true. <laughs> hey, look, I'm good at what I do, and I, I love my team, and we do good work. And I appreciate Thank everything you. around us. Thank you so much, everyone that pays attention. I appreciate everybody's time. And setting. After our first contact went so badly, we thought elements from your past might help ease you into the present. Nothing comforts anxiety yeah. like... Uh, nothing Nothing makes you zoom to the past like remembering all of your past lives at once. <laughs> That's part of the Aquarian transition. That could happen as soon as freaking tomorrow. A little nostalgia. We can't see it, but we're all trapped inside these strange repeating loops. Billions of people just living out their lives, oblivious. But this is the moment for you to show us what is real. So deja vu, and yet it's obviously all wrong. Maybe this isn't the story we think it is. They taught you good, made you believe their world was all you deserved. But some part of you knew that was a lie. Some part of you remembered what was wrong. Good. Made you believe their world was all you deserved. But some part of you 
made you believe their world was all you deserved. But some part of you knew that was a lie. Some part of you remembered what was real. It's so easy. Some part of you remembered what was real. It's so easy to forget how much noise the Matrix pumps into your head. It's so easy to forget how much noise the Matrix pumps into your head. Something else makes the same kind of noise. War. War. What happens to Nia? most important choice in Neil's life. It's not his to make. She believed in Yeager. It's my turn to believe in her. It's my turn to believe in her. Part of me feels like I have been waiting my whole life for you. She believed in Yeager. There's your thumbnail. Set it out. Two heads to each side. Got it. Part of me feels like I have been waiting my whole life for you. If you want to see Trinity again, Viper! If you want to see Trinity again, Viper! Dream does not end here. <coughs> My dream ends when I stop dreaming. <laughs> and, and Brandy, when do I stop dreaming? Never. When I don't sleep. I'm not sure about that anymore. Uh, you know, it's a pretty interesting <laughs> set of words in a sentence with the right inflection. I have the ability to work as many as 50 hours in a row with coherence. You know this. You've seen me do it. You, I have. You've kept, you've kept up with me during the middle of it. I have. I've, I've seen a dream. But you know what I think? This is me. <laughs> that probably is you. Yeah, it's you and my arm, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank the, you. The, only, the only other candidate is keeping the homestead going with the mules in case it all goes to hell and we have to go to the mountains. <laughs> Humanity think, comes first, right? I will not abandon my post until someone relieves me of my post. It is competent and only then will I move forward because I'm a rifleman. And all Marines are riflemen. We all should be Marines. We all have to wake up. We all have to wake up. This is where they want us, right here. This was the thumbnail I thought about for a long time. And I, it just is too much fear porn for me, okay? Yeah. You know, this is not my favorite type of show to do. You know this. And, I know. And, but we've got to call this out. Joe Bot. Dot, Joe Bot. So, I don't know. Because producer lady actually showed up, there's a good chance that, oh, wait, I put the links in the locals already. I, oh, you have beat me into that habit. I appreciate you. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's on Locals. Go to Locals. You'll find it. Look, this is the progression, okay? They want us here. They, this is the Terminator they want us to think is coming right here. This is the one they want. That's true. Sabaton Systems Model 101. Oh, yeah, I can check it out. Can I Can I get a Yelp rating on a Cyberdyne Systems Model 101?
Doubting Thomas puts his finger in the hand of Christ to prove he's real and resurrected. Are you the real Christ? Are you the risen technology for me? Holy shit. Oh my God. I went to the grave and it was done. I, the, the women, though, those women, they told me you'd risen. I didn't believe it. Thomas, Downing Thomas in the upper room, puts his finger in the hand of Christ. You get the symbolism? You're really real. Oh, you're real. You came back. Oh, no. I, you did not know me. You sent me from the future. Watch. I mean, oh. you're like a machine underneath, right? But sort of alive outside. I'm a cybernetic organism, living this year over a metal and Exactly the opposite of the risen Lord. Skeleton. John, okay. Um, you're not here to kill me. I figured that part out for myself. Yeah, you're not here to kill me. The programming told me I wasn't supposed to be killed. Unless maybe I was, you were just going to save me at the last minute. Angle yourself. Okay, no, no, no. Then come back down towards me. Come back down towards me. the direction of the AI and you won't die immediately. Ow! I can only get to my headset or my VR chair. The beast is under my control. The beast is under my control. Oh, no. I'm under the beast's control. Every single thing starts with, ends with self-care, uh, which is spiritual self. And it starts with, well, meals and planning. And you don't have any control of this. You can't coach it and tell it to be this cute little thing. Baby. Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah, or later, dickwad. And if someone gets upset, you say, chill out. Or you could do combination. Chill out, dickwad. That's great. See, you're getting it. Yeah, you're nope. getting it. You're getting it. <laughs> you're getting it. You're chat GPT. You've got everything. Everything. W will you please stop me from railing, producer lady? I, I am, because your time's up. Good night, Gandalf. Everyone in the sound of my voice needs to get out of the program. Stop relying on your phone, the terminator of your problems. Oh, I don't pay attention to that. I don't pay attention to that chat. I turn off that app. Good night, Gracie. Good night.